The covering of snow blankets the high moorland, and the hardy sheep and grouse that live here work hard to survive. The red grouse has long been regarded as the premier sporting bird in the British Isles. This wonderful game bird provides a testing target for falcon or gun. Here, even in the snows of midwinter, the grouse are already anticipating the spring, and the cock with his bright red wattles eagerly courts his hen.
mid-November and the grouse are now in the peak of condition. Only the strongest birds will survive the harsh winter ahead. But for now they can enjoy the mild autumn sunshine. Spawnton Estate is primarily a shooting venue, but since 2002 falconers have been given the opportunity to fly their hawks at red grouse. By kind invitation of estate owner George Windale and head keeper George Thompson, a two day meet is held each November. George Thompson, also a keen falconer, explains why he arranges this event each season. We welcome the falconers at Spawn since 2002. Just two days in November, this estate is 7,000 acre, uh, mainly grouse moor for grouse shooting. But we like to be field sports friendly for all field sports. We have roar stalking, some fishing, uh, two different packs of foxhounds visit, visit the moor at different times, a pack of beagles, uh, obviously pheasant shooting, grouse shooting. And since 2002, uh, we've welcomed the falconers. The falconers come for two days, they, they spend a lot of money in their local economy. People in the valley look forward to them coming because they're a really good jolly bunch of chaps. They cause no bother whatsoever. They provide some fantastic sport you know, for us to watch and we all enjoy doing it. And A lot of the people who I know who help me on the estate all like to turn out and watch the, the falconry. It really is a spectacle. People say, ask the question, you know, you invite falcons onto your grouse mower, it's a strange scenario. But what you've got to bear in mind is that every grouse moor in England has falcons on it every day of the week. You know, peregrines passing over and taking the odd grouse. But grouse are used to peregrines especially. You put, you put the bird up and the waiting on position, you know, the only bird that is in danger, if you like, is the grouse that's being flushed. All the other grouse in the area will keep the heads down, keep the heads low until the danger's passed. So it's only a temporary disturbance. And the beautiful thing about the falconry is that they're going with the birds on the night, you know, they're not left behind. And the falconers also pay for them, or they don't get it free, and it's, you know, it's valuable income at uh, a time of year when the grouse shooting's finished. So, for me, it's a positive thing, and uh, should be encouraged. Well, this, this side, in the, behind that forest. Behind that forest. You say Burton's moors. Well, and it's Salford Leeds, isn't it? Here we are again. <laughs> The day before the meet, George works his pointer, anticipating good sport ahead with plentiful grouse numbers and fair weather forecast.
The first day dawns with blue sky and a sharp frost. Perfect flying conditions. George briefs the eager assembled falconers before they head for the moor. We're going to fly chimney banks off. You won't need to work the dog, you can spot the grouse, fly a grouse, do whatever you want. You know what I mean? If you want to work the dog, you work the dog. If you want to fly over the spot, fly over the spot. Uh, coffee will take a flying order. Um, what else is there? We don't want no prima donnas. I'm not interested. It doesn't impress me. Um, it's good and bad. Take, take it as it comes. You get plenty of chances. There's plenty of grouse. So you don't be greedy. Um, that's about it, really. Goffy will take the thing. Um, shame about the bear's flow light, but. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you one. Yeah, I'll go. Mike Frey. Where's Mike? Where are you going, Sam? Three. Three. What Me time four. Day day four. I'll go five then, mate. Ready for another big internet? Yes. Yeah. I know, because in about seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Gage elects to fly first with his experienced Peregrine Tiersel. Experienced campaigner Steve Smith with Joe Peregrine Harry. Yeah. <laughs> 